In just a few days, Cedar Falls is going to be hosting the President of the United States. President Obama will be in eastern Iowa on Wednesday as part of a tour he's on as he pushes to get high-speed Internet to 98 percent of the country. Now, it'll follow Governor Terry Branstad's Condition of the State Address, where he is expected to talk about his Connect Every Acre bill. CBS 2 News reporter Kevin Barry here tonight with the impact of those plans. Kevin? Well, this time last year, we were talking about a similar bill. A lot of state representatives were saying it was a slam dunk that everybody could get behind. Of course, that means that it never actually got passed largely because of some issues working out how to protect small cities from being overrun by big internet companies trying to place towers and some of their equipment. Now the governor is expected to roll out a similar proposal and the people who feed America say it could help a lot. It's no secret that for a profession that historically puts a lot of dirt underneath fingernails. Basically, I could push this button here. Farming is getting more high tech every year. We're doing a lot of remote applications in our farm operation, whether it's running our corn dryer uh, from our tractor or from my house at night. Where you would have mapping technology that comes from GPS that would come down, that would tell you the acres you did. If you were combining, it would give you bushels, it would give you acres you covered. Simply being able to plug in and upload information allows farmers like Brian and John to not only plant and harvest smarter, but also more efficiently. The computers will help us put on the right amount of fertilizer, on the soil that needs it, uh, seeding, we can variable rate the seeding. Allowing them to keep one eye on the field and the other on their bottom line. Absolutely, time is money, you bet. Both John and Brian say internet access and much of...